15 year old boy, so pediatric case, he's taller than me and bigger than myself, and he was on a motorcycle when he's had a crash and he's had this open wound. Uh, this is what we call smash to smithereens. Um, he's, he's got open physes, he's got uh, the, this type of fracture which we don't know where and how to start. He's got an open wound on top. Uh, uh, you know, this is where you hold your head and say, what do I do? So uh, this is where you say, yes, of course, we're going to call for help, which meant that I've been calling people all over the world, Shantanu Shahane at Chesterfield, uh, Angus uh, Robertson at Cardiff, uh, Liz Mulder at Hull, uh, all great names and, and people I know with a wealth of knowledge. Of course, our team here, local Dr. Ali Coker, uh, Dr. Fan Masood, and Dr. Shams Tabriz, a decade of experience amongst them. And in general, uh, we've, what, what, we've, uh, what we came to the conclusion was that this is a complex problem and would require a, multiple, uh, require a number of steps and procedures through his lifetime. So we, we started with uh, putting an external cage or frame to stabilize what we could and the important thing was, if he does not have skin or uh, soft tissue coverage on top, this will not heal. Uh, so we got uh, uh, the, the plastic steams involved. Uh, we did a rotation flap uh, and skin grafted the uh, defect. And it was going pretty well. Uh, what we've learned from experience with segmental fractures is one segment will heal, the other one will take a long time to do so. And specifically in this case, if there is no bone loss, there is no bridging that can happen. So we had a plan uh, to stick something into that area which could have blood flow as well as bone. Uh, uh, to my, uh, uh, what becomes a humbling experience is that before leaving for a meeting, two days before, uh, they come back and tell me that the bone is sticking out from the graft site, uh, which, is, uh, which, uh, which adds another challenge to, uh, to, to whatever's been discussed. So we had to expedite my plan prior to me leaving, which meant we had to debride whatever we thought was infected and actually do the definitive procedure. The definitive procedure was the vascularized fibular graft, which was we had taken the fibula from the same side. Uh, with uh, You can notice that he's got a, a, a blood vessel attached to it. Uh, we've spun it around, um, uh, debrided the edges, stuck in uh, this as a wedge. Uh, with his own bone graft. We've not used anything synthetic because the risk of it being a foreign body and causing infection. Additionally, I've advanced uh, his muscles, specifically the soleus, under the uh, skin graft where the bone was sticking out. We later learned that the, uh, the skin graft was actually stuck to bone, hence the reason that the blood flow wasn't getting through. So we do have some interposition there. Uh, so watch this space. I will keep you posted as to how we...